guys, welcome to episode 9 of Feed the Beast Unhinged. Today, we're going to work on roofs, floors, and ceilings, and all sorts of stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Um, this is pretty much that's the only thing in my mind. I still might pull this out a couple more and clean out the uh, other side. We go over here. I fix that. Yeah, I don't know. Pull this out a couple more blocks. Pull that out a couple more blocks. Push that out. Sorry. Uh, I I have no idea yet. I'm just gonna wing it. I still want this to be my little Zen garden though. That would be cool. I still might remove this snow right here and put some sort of half slab there. Probably the snow slab, because I have a few extras. And then, go through, I need to add windows and all sorts of neat stuff. I haven't really set up yet for this episode, but uh, I'll probably do that. I need to get some creative juices going. So, I've got my drinks sitting over here, and uh, I didn't have any of those straw drink mixers. So, like the nerd I am, I'm using a biotherm. <laughs> and it says my drink is approximately 18 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold. Mm mm mm, tasty. So, as I'm waiting for this stuff to get my creative juices flowing a little better, I'm going to start setting up and figuring out what to do. You know, windows, ceilings, and floors. Hey guys, uh, I haven't done much setting up yet. Um, I just wanted to walk through some new changes that I did while uh, off camera. One is that roof. Um, I know at the end of last episode we went up there and grassed it, but uh, I added an extra tier on this side. But I think today we're going to tear down a part of it and put it in a sunroof. Um, got some glass. I, is actually this in use for anything? Can I do like glass slabs or something? That'd be, oh geez, there's a lot of stuff here. What am I doing? Man, I'm an idiot. There you go. Wait, no, not fire straight. There we go. Anything resembling anything? Or that? What is that? Let's check that glass. I can. Nah. Not too worried about it. That's died. Nothing. And pretty much nothing. Okay. So no glass slabs. Hmm. Oh well. As you can tell, I've added barrels everywhere. I just had a huge overflow of things coming in. Uh, I did a lot of caving. You know, remember at the end of last episode, I had 11 or so iron. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. I got quite a bit of iron out of that. Redstone I was almost out of. <laughs> so, not much steel, but I'm not going to go through a lot of it at the moment. Um, I'm up to two stacks of diamonds. Oh, once you start quarrying and you have a good you know, ore processing setup, diamonds are rather easy to obtain through uh, the, the coal recipes. Um, I'm still having a huge problem with energy. We'll deal with that after I'm done with that building over there. Um, I've just gathered some nether wart, uh, not nether wart, nether quartz. Uh, you can use that as a building material. Um, I've also added this microwave oven. Oh, this thing's fantastic. And if you read the manual that Greg Tech supplies for it, it says, do not put eggs in it. 
and it does not tell you what's going to happen when you put eggs in it. I did it in a test world. It blows up. Just like if you put any ores or anything of that nature in there. It only cooks food. That's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It goes blue. Huh. Ah. Sortex. Anyways, I got quite a bit of coal. I got the f good old fortune pick. Um. After I get my uh, ore processor set up, I don't think I have enough resources to build it, at least in its entirety, but once I do have it set up, I would have no need for a fortune pick. Just the numbers are just better with the machines. Um, yeah, as you tell, I'm sniffling a little bit. That's because I did six hours, seven hours of yard landscaping, taking care of the woods and take care of some bushes out in the yard and my allergies are just foobar at the moment like you just heard me earlier today they're just retarded um i'm gonna sleep through this uh i still don't have any i really any good ideas especially for the flooring um even on colors i i'm probably just gonna use the quartz and just make white Pearl floors. Maybe do a a gray, you know, with black tiles in the snow area. I, I'm not sure. And lighting, I've even thought about. I kind of want to have, at least in the uh, that the uh, what is it? The reduced gradient or whatever you want to call it. The the snow area. At least what I'm using as construction materials, snow. Um, these hidden lighting. Uh, I can't remember if torches melt snow blocks. So I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, well, we could, you know, try some. Um, experimentation there we'll just throw a torch right next to a snow block and see what happens I know uh, it melts ice but there's a hardened ice I'm not sure which mod adds it but it's supposed to not melt it's supposed to have a higher blast resistance if I remember correctly it's like, oh look at that texture so nice Yeah, I was looking in here, especially when it's nighttime, or at least dusk or dawn. You see the grass coming through the corners here. It looks very, very dark up there. And I was thinking somehow make a mimic a sky up on this and put a little sky sky dome or something right here. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I'm trying to figure out how to do the the stars without using micro blocks. That would be perfect to use micro blocks. Ooh, doesn't look like it melts. But I think it would melt uh, these. Uh, what are those things called? I don't know. The snow. Okay. <laughs> I just call it Snow 78. I still want to find some birch. I can't find it. I mean, that'd be a good floor, too. Um, put it in that area right there. It'd just be really bright. But not as bright as having a white floor. Uh, this will have a dark ceiling. So, I, I think we want a neutral color as a floor. Or as a flooring here. Um, possibly a gray or a dark gray. I'm not sure. This, I have no clue. Possibly black. Uh, maybe orange, orange black mix. I don't know. Um, this might be a workshop right there. So, actually, I'm going to take you over to my Feed the Beast uh, Minecraft mod pack base, and we'll take a look at 
that flooring mm -hmm. real quickly. Mm -hmm. Alright, see you soon. Hey guys! We're back on the uh, my Minecraft world. And here's my rectangular monstrosity of... I have no f freaking clue. Uh, as you can tell, this texture pack does not support the, uh, the connected textures in 147. But that's fine. We're, we're just here to look at flooring. Um, I never did the floor in this. I just left it dirt. Um, we'll go down under and take a peek. Um, whoa, jeez. So much. I'm not used to this much lag anymore. Coming in the door. Okay. So, marker block special. A lot of stuff. Oh boy, lots of lag. Lots of lag. Lots of lag. Alright. Um, actually, we're going to start in the workshop. Uh, I don't feel like taking the stairs. Use lamp, lamp for it. Um, these lamps are RP2, of course. The inverted gray lamp. Uh, use a lot of black. Yeah. But this right here is a construction foam. Still, my it is my favorite. Uh, what's that called? Construction material because of its versatility and the fact that you can cover up uh, cables and stuff. Now, that's nice and all. I see. Did I? Yeah. Even with the facades, what I I chose orange as a caution color. I put it around all my pipes. Oh, thank God. Save my bacon, pal. Where are we going? Is this a jailbreak? Can't say a thing. Really? Is it a jailbreak? We gotta go. Wait. Ooh, they fixed it. Hey. That's awesome. Anyways, back to the... Oh, jeez. Quantum leggings. Um, I never got to here, because this was, this was one of my later installments. But I used orange as a so-called warning color as you can tell with uh, the staircase it looks actually really nice with that <coughs> but down here I did the same thing yeah I couldn't uh, well I could have put this down further but I didn't feel like it so I just made a yellow warning like oh there's something here don't dig um, even around here I did the uh, the orange around each machine cluster uh, but this is the basalt pavers even though the little NEI thing says cobblestone it's, it has the same ID but it's colon numbers different I'm not sure what that's called I'm not a programmer so suck it um, I, I kinda like this floor uh, it is utilitarian industrialist um, and it goes really well with the colors of the construction foam but the colors I'm using for walls over in the new build are there's a, a medium darkish blue there's a lighter green and there's a very f yeah, f purple with a, a shade of gray or uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and a very white ceiling slash floor. And the color of the machines, I'm not sure if that's going to take into account, um, unless I put them in, use them as a floor. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's jump up here. I don't think I have any things. Oh, jeez. Actually, let's go take a look at, um, the nuke house. Look what I use for floors here. Oh yeah, some more um, basalt. Um, here we have reinforced stone. Uh, let me switch quickly over into the default texture pack and see what this looks like. Let's see, where is it? Texture packs. Default. Alright. Well, as a comes to the reinforced glass I actually like this texture better 
now, I'll, or at least the texture design. Um, I don't like that little square centerpiece in the uh, Sortex. It's like, uh, but the color is just, this color is great. I'm going to say great, it's good. Um, I mean, this could be a good floor too. In the reinforced stone. It'd just be pretty expensive. A lot of tin, brass, and uh, iron. But I could I could wing it. Uh, maybe one more caving trip or something. Should be able to get me there. Uh, yeah, this basalt doesn't look as good in the vanilla texture pack. Um, huh. I mean, the crushed obsidian is purple, like a deep dark violet uh, let's take a peek at it I think this is the same crushed obsidian that's in unhinged I'm not exactly sure uh, yeah it is it is because it's from railcraft so I don't know I mean look at this it's all grainy I mean I kind of like it that could be a good Floor, like a workshop floor. Um, let's run down here real quickly. Take a peek at this, and we'll run back to the uh, unhinged world and play there. Or we'll run over to my creative world or test world, either one, and look at that. Actually, we'll go look at that. I like I like to use bedrock in the build sometime, just to, just for the texture. I mean, it'd be a good utilitarian, just ash type of thing. Anyways, uh, still looks pretty much the same. I see you guys in another world. Hey guys, we're here at my test world. Uh, my non-creative test world. Do I have? Yeah, I've got jetpack. Cool. As you tell, well, I haven't done much here. Um. Yeah, since I don't have an Emmy system set up, um, I was using the circus court blocks for building material. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm liking this maze stone in his. That is beautiful. That maze stone is beautiful. Whew. Uh, we'll come over here and check out these floors, ceilings, and whatnot. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, with these connected textures, this looks totally different. I wonder if the, um, the stained ones look different. The one thing with this texture pack I don't like are the changes in the illuminators. Um, the so-called vanilla, the actual vanilla, they just are just so much cleaner. It's just a, a square with a darker border. A square of white, sorry. Um, anyways, we could use marble. I know where some is. We could use the uh, road pieces. They look different. Um, in the vanilla texture, in the default texture pack, the, there's a little yellow thing in the center of each side, and it just goes... It, oh, well, how should I pronounce it? How should I say? It almost looks like that right there. The uh, reinforced glass, but it's slightly offset. Um, but this is construction foam, and I, I love it. You know, it looks good. I mean, it's a good, clean thing. And both Sortex and Vanilla, but we'll go inside go to my actual base here uh, see because I kind of want to reserve the abyssal stone for the roads because I like that it's a nice color if not I'll use the basalt the basalt granite um, or black granite yeah black granite or basalt I'm not sure yet um, I'll probably do a quick tour of this place uh, in a later episode. Uh, we're just looking at floors here. So, let's see here. Let's take a peek at floors. Uh, 
this. See, this is the stone floor. I mean, I could do the half steps, which I might just do the stone floors in the the snow covered area. I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, let's go over here. Ignore this. I get the door. I think the door. The hardened glass looks terrible. Looks terrible. It looks terrible. Just same with the reinforced glass. I just think it looks terrible. But it's in 32 by 32. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the Gabbro looks great. Let's see, let's come down here. No, let's go to look. Let's go look at a gravel floor. Let's see, where's the door? There it is. Ooh. Let's go down, take a peek at a gravel floor, cause you can, can never rule that out. It's, it's like there's just too much here. Uh, uh, gravel floor. Mm, I'm not sure. It would be good for pathing, but nah, not use it. Whoa! Oh, I didn't try siltstone, did I? Ah, why can't I get up there? There we go. Uh, I forget what I have the floor in my storage room is. Ah, illuminators. Yeah, big old non cat. Wonderful. Yeah, the uh, Grey Walk. I think it's a Grey Walk. Is it Grey Walk? No, the Day Side. Sorry. And uh, the Nets is. Looking at rock. It looks great. Perfect texture for non cat. Great. Anyways, uh, we'll get to storage in a later episode after I finish the build. We'll get to that because I have some some opinions. Uh, there's not much flooring available in this world, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, not much. Uh, uh, what do I have in this room over here? I forget. Go away. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Construction foam, colored white. Another reason why I like construction film is you can color it. Uh, any of the 16 colors plus default. Unless default's the uh, color, the light gray. I'm not sure. Uh, we can also use lava, I guess. Uh, let's see. Lava. What do we have? Ah. Uh, a hardened lava block would be awesome. That wasn't obsidian or cobblestone or something. Anyways, uh, I'll see you back in the other world. Hey guys, I think I've uh, come up with a, at least a temporary flooring solution. It's just going to be um, a 2x2 two two of construction foam surrounded by stone slabs. Um, I still need to make an entrance. I'll probably make it on this corner here. Uh, probably made out of wood because uh, we'll be coming in from the outside. Therefore, there's going to be foliage and bushes and all sorts of stuff. And it's probably either on this level or this level when we walk in. No, it will be on this level and we walk down uh, into this area at least no more than two meters. So there would be a small little... Uh, oh, jeez, my... <sighs> architecture is gone away from me. Uh, I say a raised foyer, or foyer, sorry. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the stars, if if one, uh, up there. Uh, make the ceiling black and put stars around. That'd be cool. Hey guys! Um, I, I kind of worked on a little atrium here, and I'm not liking it. Or at least in the connected textures here. Uh, but we, let's look at the floors real quick. Um, I, I think they'll suffice. I'm not sure about the color combination though. Uh, I, I still need to blacken that out. I still haven't figured out a way to do do stars yet. I, that'd be that'd be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, let 
let's actually do that. Where are the quality details? Don't wrong button. Um, quality maybe. Uh, connected textures off. All right. So let's go back over here and take a peek. It looks a little better. I try to uh, make this a slope, and then you know, I added that, raised this side up. So I just might square this off on top if I keep this. I'm not sure if I will or not. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, I, I still don't know. Um, I mean, this is fine. Uh, I haven't done any, any work in anywhere else. I don't like it. I'm going to tear it down and rebuild it. Oh boy, spider. Wait. I'm geared up. I can take him. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to tear it down and rebuild it. See you soon. Hey, can I hear me? Oh, welcome back, guys. Uh, I've got another one. Another design. I don't know if I like it. Uh, I think it's the top there. That's, oh, it just looks too 50s, too modern. As far as the, ar the modern architectural movement went, it's just boring and it's borderline brutalism. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah, uh, let's, no, that's not what I want, um, I wanted, no, not animations, details, no, quality, yeah, alright, take a figure out this way, uh, hurry up and load, Yeah, I'm not feeling the, the roof there. I think it, because it's the uh, same height as that. Yeah, I kind of want this lower than the top of that one. So, let's take a peek. <sighs> I'm still not feeling it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's not it. Oh, hey guy. Uh, what is that? Sharpness 5? Sharpness 4. Power, power four, sorry. Dropped a bow. How is it? Yeah. I mean, from here, it looks decent because I'm imagining there's going to be machines or something go coming, going on over here. Uh, actually, this just might be my um, storage area where I build things. And the machines for the workshop might be, you know, over in that building or over in this building at least part of the building sorry they're connected therefore they're not separate buildings this is still a go down here I, I don't know some sort of small factory maybe I no no I, I, I have the equipment maybe this would be my power generation right here no not <coughs> at least temporary I would like to um, make a building just just for power generation. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I I am not feeling this atrium at all. Just uh, let's let's go back to uh, this. I'm still not feeling it. Still not feeling it. Uh, too much glass? Let's try bars on the windows. Oh, wait a second. Wait. Can I do it? Facade. Is there abyssal? Like wool? Obsidian? Well, I could do uh, the black stone? Ash stone? Abyssal stone. 
Well, yeah, I could do that. I just don't have the the machines, the MJ production to actually make the um, the gates and everything that I would need in the facades. I would need to uh, do that. So, let's see here. I mean, the windows would be, let's see, piss in there, extend, extended, extended, and piss in here. So it would be a four or four this way, which actually wouldn't be that bad. Uh, it would be more of a gray color. And let's see, let's take a peek at the um, pistons over here I'm using for the door and see what the textures look like. They almost look like a um, furnace, or at least uh, in the vanilla texture. Let's see here. I mean, that's, that's nice. What, 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 what is that? Um, do I have any oak? Oak, it's already in my inventory. Ah, too dark. Just punch it. Um, hmm. I know spruce is too dark. Jungle's too. Uh, too much green in the. Uh, or no, 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 no. It's like redwood. I don't know. Let's take a peek. get something that was this this tent and or and or this tent that would be wonderful um hmm check the sides again let's see sherry this is going to be a long episode wow actually i probably won't use half this this first is too dark. I mean, jungle might do it. I, there's a jungle. I don't think I've seen a jungle. Wait, there's one way back on the other side of the Alps. That's about a kilometer away. It will take me a while to get there. I am not feeling it. I am not feeling that. Right there, just it's too utilitarian, too brutalist. Um, well, I guess today's episodes are, have failed because I've carried on for about an hour, hour and a half, and at least recorded, and I haven't gotten anywhere. Well, uh, I can't say I haven't gotten anywhere. I have found a lot of things I don't want or don't like. So maybe we'll figure it out in episode 10. I don't know. Just indecision, indecision, indecision. I'm not liking anything right now. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I'll just build something else real quickly, get some inspiration. Nah, it's not gonna work. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out when we hit episode 10. Uh, yeah. This, uh, episode eight is, wait, this is episode nine. Yeah, episode nine is, I guess, coming to a close. This episode has been a failure as far as, let's say, the Cell Saga goes. You know, experiment failed. Uh, I guess that's fine. Um, we'll figure something out. I mean, at least I got the floor done in the uh, that the blue room. I uh, will call it blue room for now. Uh, that's gonna be my main workshop, so. 
I want it to be aesthetically pleasing because I'll be spending a lot of my time in there. Yeah, I mean, after I set up my automated machines, we're not going to be going into that location much. And to those buildings with the automated machines, the factories and shit. Pardon my language. Um. I don't know. I, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in that building. I'm, I want to l want to like it. I'm going to want to want to like it, if that makes sense. I want to I want to like it, therefore I have to like it. And it's going to have to be something that's aesthetically pleasing to my own eye, inside and out. <sighs> this is going to be tough. And on that note, I am going to see you guys next episode. Have a good day. Bye.